flash in the pan, flash at night, flashes in the air. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Nerd Generation, AK News. DCU Future Series. We've done other Future Series, but now we're focusing back on the DCU Future Series. And we got a hot one, a confusing one, and quite possibly a uh, great one. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go in, we want to wish everyone safety, health, in the situation that we're dealing with right now. By the time this thing is being recorded, or by the time you hear it on air, I don't know. Hopefully the future will be better by the time you hear these this recording and this series. That's why we're reaching out right now to give our best regards and best wishes and we're going through a turbulent time. But we're going to move forward and uh, we're going to talk to you about today, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about the DC YouTube series and of course, Nerd Generation, AK News. And we're going to bring in, that's right, the architect. That's what they called it in Matrix. Remember that? Matrix 2, the architect. The architect of... Uh, Nerd Generation, that's right. Pablo! Say it twice a lot, what's going on? Not much, man. Not much. Just uh, taking it easy I, and, and just sort of escaping into the world of uh, the DCU, MCU, and what's going on in that world to keep my mind off of uh Yeah, I mean, like I said, you know? the, 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 real world, the real world ain't going nowhere. You don't even have to... Pretend it's not there. It's going to come smashing in your face. But anyway, like Batman, like the bat flew through the window and the Dark Knight returns. Remember the bat flew through the window? Frank Miller did that. That was great. But anyway, let's talk. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk today, tonight, tomorrow morning, whenever you hear this podcast. See, we, we're covering all bases. Let's talk real. Henry Cavill, let's do the news flash. Henry Cavill was um, reported to, quote, you know, he's back, he's back, he's back. He's back. He's back. Heard the echo and the echo chamber. Henry Cavill's back. Later, we find out two, three days later, that guess what? He's really not. not, 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 not. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's going on as far as Henry Cavill and his participation with Warner Brothers and as far as the property of Superman. And P, I think we can agree with that. And as far as the property of Superman. Now, on the other hand, we've already been told what's going to happen with Zack Snyder. Right? Yeah. Justice <clears throat> League and HBO Max. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, Henry Cavill is that soldier that went home, that went out, he did a, he did a tour of duty. He's coming back home. He got to the airport, he dropped his bags, got his bags, went to the front of the house, opened the front door. He see the kids in the neighborhood, the next door neighbor, hey, Henry, how are you? You know how that happens. Y'all see that in all the movies, especially in the Spielberg movies. They go, hey, how are you? You know, that whole hometown thing. All right, so he walked in that front door. He's got on the um, the flannel coat and the, and the bags, and he dropped the bags down the middle of the room, and he said, hey, I'm back. But unfortunately, right now, from what I'm seeing, you help me out from right or wrong, he dropped the bags in the middle of the room and he looked around and said, this ain't the house I left. This place is a mess. Uh, what, what do they call it when they, uh, uh, when they all sit there and uh, watch the movie online together? What is that? What, they, they got a term for that. What is that? Uh, watch party. There it is. Watch party. Watch party. See, I'll put that in there. It's going to pop a little bit. Watch party. Okay, so they did the watch party. So that's where Henry is. Ladies and gentlemen, I, quite frankly, here's the problem. Here's my situation. Here's my issue. Henry Cavill was, I don't think he was banished or not like uh, certain people on YouTube are saying that he was banished and he had a bad relationship and he was hard to work with and why do people like him? I mean, I mean, Grace, Grace just went in on Henry to make it seem like, Grace, Grace, Grace. Henry had nothing to do with the total at BVS's box office. Stop. Don't do that. Yeah. What is it? Release the Snyder Cut people. They had nothing to do with the people not pushing BVS nor Justice League 
over a billion dollars. Yeah. You guys are trying to and now tell me if I'm wrong. You guys, please chime in on the chime in on the uh, comment section. You guys are trying to make it seem like there's somebody prevented the the great monolithic because P, I'm gonna use your own words to throw right in your face. What did you say? BBS was purely Zack Snyder's movie. There ain't no excuses. Yeah, I mean. I would say, and I'm pretty sure you would agree, that the majority of people didn't like BVS. There are some out there who are on the extreme side saying that this is one of the best movies. And it's like, what are I've never heard about? that about BVS. You I've heard, heard that? I've heard that. I've heard that. They say what? BVS was a great movie. That was a good movie. There's people that say that. I go on the gram, man. I go on I Facebook. Never heard and that. I, I didn't hear I, that. I, I hear that. Because I go out and read other people's stuff. Probably you haven't heard that because you probably don't bother talking to people <laughs> who believe that to be. But there are people who believe that BVS was a great movie. I get the, the angst about Justice League and the switching of the directors, blah, blah, blah. I yeah. never heard nobody. Wait a minute. I take that back. Now. I got to see. I got to think back. Were people actually saying this is great? That BVS was great. Because the backlash was so overwhelming. So so this is the minority of people were saying BVS was great. Yes. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. But, I mean, I think even John Campia liked the movie. And I'm like, I don't, uh, what are you I don't talking know. about? I, I, gotta, I gotta go back. I know he nah, liked Man nah. of Steel. He, yeah, he, he, yes, he believed Man of Steel is one of the is most one of the most underrated and probably the best superhero movie ever made. Oh, that's crazy! Uh, uh, yeah. I, I, don't don't, I don't, like don't the, get me started. I don't like don't to get do me that. Started. I don't like, like to that's, do that. That's, that's what he said. That's what he said. Yeah, I don't like to. But that's crazy. If you watch his video, and I suggest that you do, so that you can understand his reasoning for it, and when you, it sounds good. It sounds yeah, but see, good, but, see, but the see, execution you, you can't. You can't sell it to me after the fact now. Yeah. Oh, this is because when you're watching the movie, ladies and gentlemen, let's 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 air it out. When you're watching the movie, there's nobody sitting next to you explaining the movie to you. Yeah. You're seeing what you see initially. You go back, you rewind it in your head, you kind of take away from what you take away, and you say what you like at the moment. Anybody coming in later and starts explaining it to you, that's something different. I mean, there's always, there's always that. How many sizes is that, that so far? Like three? How many sizes we got? Three? Wow. I mean, these these people, these people want anarchy. They want to see it on film. But ladies and gentlemen, you know, let, let's 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 talk let's talk turkey. You got the kid across the street just knocking it out. The kid across the street is just a a machine, machinery. The Warner Brothers, well, we're not like that. We're not such um It's funny. Warner Brothers are saying they're not hands-on, but then you are hands-on. But then if you're going to if you're going to be hands-on, be hands-on. Run the ship. Don't let a director, and I'm not going to say anybody, but, uh, don't let and and I, I'm using his name only because he's so far away from me. Don't let Josh Trank come in and make a Josh Trank BVS movie, but he changes everything. Uh, instead of them having costumes, he put them in raincoats. <laughs> I mean, I mean, and then you you allow it. Yeah. And then when it gets a rejection from the public, you get a couple of cats that are of a different mind. And, oh, you you didn't let him show his vision. No, he did show his vision, and the general public rejected it. You t P, am I wrong? You tell me. So what you're leading towards is that BVS was bad. And you're saying what we didn't see in the Justice League because of what went down. It's that gonna make his it vision was going to make it better. Just like, ladies and gentlemen, David Ayer's intro to Suicide Squad. That don't change that movie. At the end of it, the Enchantress is still there doing that hookah goo dance, that hula bloop dance. And that Harley Quinn trying to beat her with a bat. That end scene of 
Suicide Squad was bad. Wow. That ending was wow. Like, did y'all run through this? Even Will, even Will Smith can say that in scene. Harley walked up to her and, you know what? <laughs> I just want to be just like you. Or so, I mean, I, Are you serious? Wow. This is. But okay. But no, but, no, but showing David Ayer's different intro is this gonna make that movie better. This is gonna, you know, they're gonna do really? it. They're gonna do it. Oh, no, no, they're gonna do it. HBO needs the content. We had this yeah. discussion. They're gonna do it. If it's that simple, okay, if you already pay for it, it's done. All you gotta do is re edit it and put it back on, and people go see it. We get more subscribers. It's still the same thing. It's still gonna be, uh, uh, what's his name? El Diablo and that steel <laughs> drum. And they, they still got Killer Croc living in some like. The black the, Killer Croc. <laughs> the black. Uh, <laughs> but no, but, 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 but David is missing Joker entrance. Is gonna make that better. That right? that's the is what I that's what I'm curious about. If that footage is there, why not? HBO Max is regurgitating what they left on the cutting room floor and putting it on HBO the, the, Max. The, the, for there it is, ladies and gentlemen, because that's all it says. That's all it says. You, you, you're putting up stuff that that that, that could have been on it back in the day. I'm, well, it's not really back in the day, but back in the, that could have been on the Blu-ray. Extra scenes yeah. on the Blu-ray. That's all that was. But this is a teachable moment. Because if the people accept what you put it on on HBO Max, what you left on the cutting room floor, and it's better, and people and the fans, the critics are singing its praises, this is something that you carry over to the movies, man. I mean, this ain't this ain't like many would say this ain't rocket science. But then it is rocket science. That's why the kid across the street, <laughs> you can't do nothing over there unless it meets approval. Yes. It's run like Unless a business. Unless we scrutinize it and we run it's it like a run business. run that, like a business. That kid over there, not for nothing as far as being a business. That kid, the kid across the street, that kid is dynamite. God damn, that kid is good. Shoot, man, what? I don't want to do this hippie stuff over here. Everybody's helter skelter, doing whatever the hell they want. Nah, this don't work, man. Yeah. I mean, it may just, sound cool, and, 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 but yeah. this don't just, work, man. And, and just to remind y'all, although the kid across the street is amazing, they still have their faults. We're well, gonna put it like this: the kid across the street ain't perfect. He don't do this stuff though. This stuff is out. No, no, we don't do that. No, 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 no. Why? Because you're gonna leave, and then I gotta fix it. What? Henry Cavill. Well, you be Henry Cavill. I'm glad he gets to do redemption. But, like I said, when you walk in the house, in the living room, you drop your bags, you look around and go, what is this? The, the question is, Trey, and if, if I were Henry Cavill, Maybe this is personal to him. He him wanting he to wants be to redemption. He wants to be redemption. I don't blame him. He wants to be great. Him. He wants to be great. He wants to be because nobody has topped Christopher man. Reeve. Not Henry Cavill. Not even Henry Cavill. Nobody has topped Christopher Reeve. If you want to argue that, go ahead. All you want, but Christopher Reeve was the best Superman ever. You want to debate it? Go ahead in the comment section. Go at it. You know what you're gonna hear? Different yeah. era. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. It was definitely different era. Yeah. I will say this. I think that Zack Snyder's Justice League on HBO has really did a little bit of damage to Matt Reeves' The Batman movie. Yeah. You just sucked the air right out of it. And you can say what you want, but spell my name right. But no, but you can say what you want. Now all the heads are now talking about Bringing back Ben Affleck's solo movie of Batman. The Batman's already in production. I mean, you, you, the heads are already asking you to forget the movie that's about to come out and let's get to the Ben Affleck's Batman. And you gotta, you gotta look at Wonder, Wonder Brothers and go, what is going on? Yeah. If I was in, if I was in a position like that, how could you not tell people that can control this and be like, listen. 
this Ben Affleck thing is not happening. If we have to go to Ben Affleck and, hey, would you tell the public, yo, I'm not Batman anymore. That's over with. In order to make this... Because you, you're killing the momentum for you're Robert killing, Pattinson's yeah, you're Batman. You're killing Matt Reeves' the Batman. You're killing it. You just hey, you've, forget you've created Matt Reeves. A, you, <laughs> forget Matt Reeves. You just told Ava DuVernay doing New Gods, I'm going to do it first and then you can pick it up. Yeah, man. I don't think that film gets done. I'm, I'm still... New Gods? No. So you mean... It doesn't get, it doesn't get done. Wow. Not by Ava DuVernay. We've been talking about this for a minute. You got announced to do this for a minute. Am I right? Wow. I, 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 it, you just would destroy. I mean, you, you're killing Matt Reeves, the Batman, and you and you and you're slapping Ava DuVernay's new gods. <laughs> it's just unbelievable, and all because of minority, a minority of the minority. Love Zach stuff. We think it's great. We should want to follow that story off. The general audience, when there were people going to movie theaters, and um, people rejected it. Let's yeah. put it on the Especially table. Especially BVS. Especially BVS. His and 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 and, and what's with, what's the thing you always say about BVS? No excuses. There was no Josh Whedon. There was no Alfred Hitchcock who came in in the middle. No, <laughs> that was Zach's that was all... movie. And what did the general audience say? No. How much did one of them spend? Batman, Forget about it. Batman versus Superman should have made one point five billion dollars. Are you kidding me? Easy. Batman versus Superman, the first time on film together in a film. Easy. One point five billion dollars. Easy. You think Justice, that's not possible? The Justice League should have made $2 billion, but they should have put a couple of movies in front of it. But the whole thing, well, I'm not going to do it the way Marvel do it. Then, that, then you don't like money. But but what, what did we say earlier? But what, what did we say earlier? Ma Marvel created the Matrix. You can't beat the Matrix now. This is the way things supposed to be done. Yeah. I get that whole re rebel crap. I get that. I, I, I feel you. But guess what? They're the empire, but they're loved. They're not the empire, and everybody hates their stuff. Everybody loves yeah. their stuff. Yeah. Because the empire over there, with Kevin and Lou and Louise, they keep it real. Yeah. Come on. So, even Robert Downey Jr. is trying to get back home. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> what we Once doing? he got that reality check, he yeah, was like, got a reality uh... check? What we doing? <laughs> Or, uh, <laughs> can I come home? Where's Kevin's number at? Say, honey, I made I made a mistake. Can I come home? We'll <laughs> see. We're trying to plan, yeah. make this work. Yeah. We'll see. But that's, uh, that's I mean, that's a business right there, man. I'm glad. Henry Cavill, oh, the kid, of course, she's amazing. Like I said, Henry Cavill's back. He dropped his bag. And it gets to a point. And listen, I want to see. Yeah, listen, I'm rooting for Henry Cavill to fix his Superman. But if it was on a personal level... Hey man, I don't even think you should go back. That thing is a mess. Yeah. They got to tell you what the plans are. See, hear me, don't push it where I just want to be down. And then you get there and go, what the heck is going on? But, but this is the thing. It's like, I, I get it. Like, Henry Cavill can come in and ask for some loot. That's great. I don't think it's loot. But I the, think he the, wants to the, write a wrong. You think? But they're negotiating. They, they're negotiating numbers, man. I'm sorry, but they're negotiating numbers. They got to negotiate that. They got to negotiate that. And based on what I've heard in the past, Henry Cavill was asking for a lot of money. Did he oh, get it with The Witcher? Money. He can get it now oh, with The Witcher. Know. He can get it now. Season two, already lit. And you know there's going to be yeah. a season three, already lit. So he's like, I'm writing tickets over here. What's up? Yeah. But Henry, I will tell you this. I can understand you making a money grab, especially, especially when you don't know what these guys are doing. You don't even know what the product is over there. These guys, I mean, P, let's keep it real. Warner Brothers is off the meter. I, you can't, I can't call it. I don't know what they're doing. And, and uh, uh, unless J.J. Abrams called me and told me plot A, plot B, plot, okay. Don't, yeah. don't have it seem like, Henry just wants to go back home, but he really don't know what he's going back to. Because that's what I'm sensing. That's what, because, but that's what makes me feel like, yo, it's, it's, it's about the money. Because 
he does he just come in because he just wants to be Superman. I but for me as a fan, liking or not liking, loving what I see over at Marvel, not happening over at DC because that's what I think DC fans want. They'll take anything. They'll take the one offs. They'll they'll watch it because we're fans of the genre. But at some point, enough gets becomes enough. It's like yo, do what they do. You do this in the comics. They're doing it in the movies. It's proven to be that it can be done. Why aren't we doing it? Unbelievable. Wonder what James Gunn and JJ are thinking about the direction of the DC properties over at Warner Brothers, HBO, or whatever platform they want to use it on. What do you think they're thinking? And let's put it out there. We talk about this is DCU Future Series. Titans got to go somewhere. Either Titans now goes to HBO Max, which, you know what, piece if they're property grabbing, that's probably what's going to happen. Yeah? Of course. You know, Kevin, in the marketing over at uh, Marvel would be c- completely different. They would let you know what, where we're going, what the design. What the, what, you know, I got to start trying to entice the audience now. I mean, give me a break. We need that Flashpoint movie to set the film Cause cinematic Because that's what fixes it. Flashpoint is the only thing that fixes it. And you can go the other route of saying, ah, we're just going to ignore what we did in you the past. You can do that, that, that but that's a, that, that, Okay, but you got two movies, you got two franchises, three, no, three franchises in continuity. Aquaman. They can do it, Train. They can do it, Train. They and just put it on the public to ignore it, or you guys yeah. reboot it for us? What you 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 do the reboot for us? Wow! Well, you gonna do another Superman reboot? Here we go again, or you just gonna pick it yeah. up that Superman yeah. exists? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait! Yeah, what you want to do a reboot? Of course. Wow! And what about Wonder Woman? Or let Gal finish she, her thing she, and get a new Wonder Woman? I mean, you could keep her. She I'm to... pretty sure you can find another one. I'm pretty sure oh, yeah, you can cool. find another one. The only one, the only one that I would keep is Ray Fisher. Because again, and I hate to, 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 to go on a tangent, but just let me say this for a moment. And I'll probably repeat it again when we do our Wolverine show. That listen, nobody knew who the hell Hugh Jackman was before Wolverine. Nobody knew who the hell Christopher Reeve was before he did Superman. Yeah, but you know what you can turn around and say? Nobody knew who Hemsworth was. I mean, Not I don't really. Uh, 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 I mean, nobody no, knew who I, he was. Yeah, but you know what? Chris is different because there really wasn't a Thor to reflect on. There wasn't a Thor before him. I mean, Gal Gadot had just to perfectly with Linda casted. Carla. Trey is what I'm saying. He was perfectly casted, and that's what you gotta go out to do and, oh, yeah, and that's perfect you think that's where they got to take the risk you got to try to take the risk and and and, yeah, and get a great casting and once again another thing zach did lex luthor we can say what we want spell your name right but that was a big one lex luthor yeah casting jesse was a horrible what? mistake what that was a guy that was a guy that went in there and did that i don't think he was the i, I don't know man it's, it's just if Either way, he was trying to be the Zach, Zach, Zach Snyder. If Zach Snyder was directing this, he was the director, right? This is his fault. If he's a director, this is his fault. Why? Because if he let Jesse Eisenberg direct how he was going to play Lex Luthor, or if you directed him into being Lex, the type of Lex Luthor that we got, it is your fault. Yeah. Yeah. There's no wrong. Yeah, there's no getting around it. Uh, he's Jesse a great actor. Jesse Eisenberg yeah, was acting yeah, like he was doing Facebook movies. Yeah. <laughs> and God forbid, yo, Pete, God forbid you keep Zod around. No, let's take Zod's body and transform into your doomsday. What? I'm telling you, that's the oh. pitch right there. And then looking at everybody, oh my God. I mean, it's just, how You're many gonna, plot lines? I want to hear the pitch. I would love to hear that pitch. Yeah, but would you would have rejected it. I would love to be it. in that room. You would have rejected yeah. it just like I would have rejected it. Say, you got like 
six storylines going in this thing. What, what, the, the only thing missing in BBS is the Joker. Turning Zod's body into Doomsday. Just yeah. listening to that makes me say no. Yeah, no. Turning Zod's body into Doomsday, that's not going to work. I need Zod in the Phantom what? Zone for later. Like, wh- why am I killing off characters? You're killing off characters because this man only has a five-picture arc and then he's gone. He doesn't care after that. Yes. He just wanted to do what he wants to do and that's and it. He's not in here to build a universe. Yeah, he's not. And, and, there's the, and there's the salesman. He wasn't here to build a universe. We thought he was. Yes. We thought he was. Or, oh, shall we say better, WB thought he was. Did they? I mean, did, did they? I, I, I don't think know. so. Of course. Of course. It's, the proof is in, in uh, Suicide Squad. The proof is in Birds of Prey. Okay, yeah, the connection. <laughs> you connected all of their universes. And those and th- and those are not great films. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For despite the money that it made, Suicide Squad and Aquaman, these aren't great films, yo. In my opinion, and I think most people would agree. And there's other people out there who are very adamant about Aquaman being one of the best movies ever made. No, I never heard that. I never heard that. What? I ain't never heard that. Ah, uh, okay. Shazam, they loved Shazam. The Shazam critically was, acclaimed Shazam. Shazam, Come Shazam on, man. was hokey. Shazam Come was hokey. Come on, man. Come Shazam on, man. Was hokey They're dokey. out there. They're out there. They're out there. I read the comments. I read IG. I, I see what people say. Damn. They're out there. And it's fine. If you, that's what you, but you can't make a strong case for it. That's all I'm saying. You can say what you want. You loved it. Hooray for you. But in terms of arguing on the contrary, you can't tell me that this movie was good. You can't debate wait, on wait, wait. it. Wait, wait, which movie are we talking about? We're yeah. talking about Don't Aquaman. We're talking about Suicide Squad. We're talking about BVS. Oh. We're talking about Man of Steel. I'm not saying Man of Steel was whack. It was one of the better films, but... BVS I mean, and Justice I mean, League. Man of Steel compared I don't to see Zack Snyder as being much better. Man of Steel compared to Suicide Squad. Man of Steel with, with Othello compared to Suicide Squad. <laughs> I'm, I'm da- and David, they want to release your... Okay, David, you're going to show me a, a scene where the Joker robbed the bank. And that's going to change that Enchantress at the end of that movie? That's supposed to make me feel this is a better movie? Yeah. And I just want to say to the nah. people listening... Nah. Although we we haven't spoken nah. on the uh-uh. topic of Henry Cavill that much, we've certainly mentioned mentioned his well, name. Well, I think we're painting the picture, to, yeah, we're where, the picture yeah, of where you exactly. want him to go back to. to go this back is what to he's this. going back to: chaos. There's no future, really. But the I, only I, reason I, why I he's coming his, back is either for money or his or passion, to redeem himself. Yeah, the passion for, to redeem himself. For, yeah, that's it. Because right now, ladies and gentlemen, Aquaman is on is is more popular than Superman, and that's crazy. That's terrible. That's terrible, ladies and gentlemen. That's really, truly terrible. Listen, I hope that I hope he does well. I hope he gives us a dope Superman. But it would suck when his his run is over, and we still don't got a universe. That's all I'm saying. When the news had broke out that Henry quote was back or whatever. You started figuring out, I mean, it was funny, the first thing people started doing, well, let him go back to do reshoots of Justice League. Reshoot what? You, I mean, it seems like everybody wants to see, since Justice League was a five-picture arc, everybody wants Henry to go back now for the reshoots and then ultimately have him fight Darkseid? That, yeah. that scene alone is going to cost more than $20 million. That's not enough money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they're putting $20, $30 million. And Ain't then nothing. That's they, nothing. they have to keep investing. They have to keep putting money into it until it's oh, done, oh, right? Oh, you oh, can't let's, back let's, out let's, now. Let's, let's be real. Zach is going to keep coming back needing more money. Let's, let's... Oh, no, it's only $30 million. All you're going to hear is... Yep. And the guy going to say, what do you want now? Ben Affleck, Cavill, if they... Come back to do the research and reshoots and finish Zach's vision. They're doing it for Zach. They're doing it yeah, for Zach. Yeah, it's not for the chat. It's not for the chat. Yeah, yeah. Although they're going to, you know, let me get that paper. Because I know you got it. Right? 
they're going to do it for that, but also for for Zach. Because this is what is most important and I and people need to understand. In my opinion, this is not about the movie sucking and and because we didn't see Zach's vision that cuz that was going to be great. It's not about that. It's about what WB did to Zach. That's what it's about. That's why people are behind it. That's why it's lasted this long, and they finally said, you know what? Will it change that movie? No. Nope. Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, Henry Cavill might be back, should be back, could be back, who knows? But ladies and gentlemen, this has been a great conversation, the DC Youth Future Series. Nerd Generation, ACAD Nerds, we keep pounding them out, putting them in the oven, see how they bake. Sometimes they fluff up, sometimes they explode. You know, you never know how this thing goes. Um, we're going to sit back and watch this one because I think uh, the next DCU future series we have to talk about is the big one. The one nobody wants to talk about, the one that everybody wants to talk about. we got to talk about The Flash. We have to talk about The Flash. And we're doing this as a little plug. We'll put the little Flash picture up. We have to talk about Ezra Miller. The Flash and the future. Because I think we can all agree that's where the future is going to be with the Flash doing something to change this whole dynamic. Do you agree with that, Mr. Solano? Of course. It all starts with... It, it, they can do do away with all this chaos by doing the Flashpoint. And Flash is the only one that can do it. Not the Guardians. That's his, that's his MO. That's Not his the Thanagarians. Not Black Adam. Rock can't do it. I know Rock thinks he's great. No, you can't do it. You know who gets to, ch- you know who gets to change the universe? Over in Marvel is Wanda. Over in DC, it's the Flash. Yeah. Warner Brothers, sign Ryan Gosling. What are you guys doing? Hey, what are you doing? He's doing. He's doing. He's doing werewolf. Ladies and gentlemen, Nerd Generation AK News. We're gonna be back as we always are. We got some. Really, really exciting goodies. Oh man, this is like Christmas. This is like Halloween with all the good candy in the bag. Yeah. So signing up for AK News. This is Tracy at Spy before nine nine four. Pablo, any last words? No, I just want to say thank you again to the guys that uh the, pe- the individuals that are listening to the show. Um, I know there's some people that are, have been listening and they've, they've said nothing but great things, and I thank you. Um, I'm gonna try something new. Uh, I'm going to see if I uh, put down my email address for Nerd Generation so you can submit questions and probably we'll answer them. But they got to be good questions, though. They got to be good questions. So, you know, we can get into a, a small now, little who segment. Who can beat who? That. Can Joker beat the Scarecrow? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he can. Okay. okay. Yeah. Who sent that in? Yeah, some, some real good questions. And we'll answer him on the show. And uh, stay safe out there, man. Stay safe. Stay safe. Think. Think. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are in those turbulent times. But as always, we're still looking forward to what the future. That's why these future series great, because we're all looking forward to the future. As I said before, this is Tracy at 5 4994 and we will see you soon. <laughs>